Hi, this is David Armstrong. Welcome back to our video blog, which we call The Musical Theater Factory. And I'm here with Joel Fram, who is the musical director of Saving Amy, but is also the musical director of, I don't know how many shows at the Fifth this, Avenue? This will be my 12th show. 12th at the Fifth. show at the Fifth Avenue. We actually are, my very first show at the Fifth Avenue was also Joel's very first show at the Fifth Avenue. Way back in 1999, it was uh, The Secret Garden, <laughs> and we were both much younger at that point. Uh, Tell us a little bit. People have been asking about Saving Amy. It's a brand new musical, so nobody's heard anything about it. They don't know what the music is, although they'll get a little peek of it at Spotlight Night mm -hmm. this coming mm -hmm. week. Uh, talk about the musical styles in the show, because obviously, you know, she was a great, uh, amazing eva you know, evangelist, but it's not just gospel music. Mm -hmm. It's not just gospel music. In fact, we're quite lucky. Saving Amy has two composers. And both of them have written in all sorts of styles and in several several genres. So we have, you know, uh, David Pomerantz, who's written a lot of pop music and written a show or two of his own. And David Friedman, who also has written a lot of pop music and written several shows of his own. So the styles of Saving Amy kind of move back and forth. We have really... As you mentioned, we do have some really exciting gospel music in the show, but we also have some really, really beautiful theater music, and a lot of it sounds like kind of contemporary pop music. It kind of goes back and forth between those styles in what I think is a really interesting way. And of course, the period is the the teens and the 1920s. Yes, and so... So we get to draw from those styles that's right, as well. That's right, that's right. So, you know, we, we rather cleverly, I think, sort of move back and forth. I mean, we, we hint at sort of Charlestons and kind of big Hollywood epics from the 20s and 30s. And we have a sort of low-down blues number. That's right, that's right. We have a really cool blues number with, uh, you know, with Roz Ryan and her women... So, and we have sort of a croony, Bing Crosby, Frank right. Sinatra kind of tune. That's right. So we just kind of go sort of, we sort of use the styles where we think they're appropriate, but it allows us to explore a lot of really cool different music. So what are you most excited about in terms of the musical aspect of the show? Well, I mean, first of all, there are going to be some unbelievably thrilling vocal performances from, from our, our principals. I mean, they all sing amazingly well, but also we sort of handpicked an ensemble of spectacular singers and when you hear what those what that huge ensemble can do I mean it's gonna be overwhelming and it's a big uh, choral show in a certain yeah. way with all these thrilling ringing vocals that's right we call it a big sing it's a, it's big, a sing. big sing <laughs> so come and see the big sing and join us next time on the musical theater factory thanks everybody